Welcome to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to start on my garage rebuild. See if we can get a little more organization going on here. Yeah, we're going to try and redo my garage. Here's the current setup. So this is where I'm attempting to work. Here's my issue. Whenever I pull my cars in, I can't get over to my workbench to make my plates. And I'm tired of my makeshift desk that I've made since the CV stuff kicked me into the garage and I uh, moved out here to work and basically live almost permanently during the day. Uh, here's the rest. I got my fr beer fridge, I got my toolbox. There's some cabinetry there. And then I have this cabinet here. Now my dream or thought is to take out the cabinet from here over, build in shelving at the top, put in my bench, my workbench, and my uh, saws and such over there, and try and make it so I don't have to worry about pulling cars out to work on the plate. So I've started cleaning off the top of that. Uh, I'm going to start pulling this thing apart and see what we got. I got to move stuff around. I have stuff in here that I'll need to find a place to store. Uh, let me go ahead, along with this banner, but go ahead and give you a sneak peek of what I'm dealing with here so nothing crazy it's not like it's super full here let me give you a better there we go not like it's super full or anything but simple camping gear and uh, vacuum and such and then the one next to it has a lot of my tools in it my uh, big tools so if you look at the edge here right by the speaker I'm gonna remove the doors and try and cut straight down to where this door hooks on. So I'm trying to pull that all off, straighten it up, and give myself some space right in here. So as I start to remove this, I wanted to see how these shelves are put together. If you look, there's a whole bunch of staples that they put in there. Okay, see if I can get in there. See all those little staples? Every one of those holes has a staple in it. So if I go to rip that board off, it's going to make an absolute mess out of my drywall. So I'm going to remove, when I get these emptied, I'm going to remove all the wood from the cabinetry off of there and try to leave as much of that as I can. Maybe use this as a board for either the top or the bottom of my new cabinetry. But I just wanted to show you that if you have these uh, built-in cabinets, those things uh, will make an absolute mess of your drywall if you try to rip those uh, set boards out. All right, let's keep rolling. Just got back from the store. Let's see what we got for the shelving. All right, thanks to the dude over at Lowe's. Thanks, brother. Helped me out a lot. Really good customer service. But we got the Gladiator... 36 inch by whatever the dimensions are it's a uh, 36 inch by 72 tall so that's what I'm going to be putting in the big hole where my bench used to be up in there so let me get this thing out let's get it put together and put in its spot work smarter not harder man I just threw it on my crawler there I'm just gonna roll it in I don't need those two people what do they say? I had little guys on here somewhere. Oh, here they are. It's a team lift. Oh, well, it is. It's a team. Me and my creeper. One hour later. Look at that. She's built and in her home. Now, we just got to uh, clean out the other spot and organize it into there. And yeah, let's just, yep, whatever that's going to be. Okay, as you can see, demo is complete. Got the cabinets taken out. Now it's a matter of figuring out how I want to arrange all that and put that over there. 
we got that. I'm going to take this bench apart and relocate it over here. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you like this so far, let me know. Uh, join me for part two of the garage rebuild. We're gonna put some cabinets up, doing some wiring, doing some, it's gonna get fun, but hopefully it's a lot nicer in the end. See you on the next one, thank you.